In this video we give a general overview of compulsory education in Switzerland. However, be aware that since education is responsibility of the cantons, school systems vary a lot from one canton to the next. Public schools have a good reputation and the vast majority of children is in fact enrolled in the public sector. All children living in Switzerland can attend public schools for free, and also receive books and school supplies at no cost. In most cantons, compulsory schooling has a duration of 11 years, and children usually begin school the age of 4. In some cantons schooling starts with 2 years of kindergarten, followed by 6 years of primary school. In other cantons, kindergarten is integrated directly in primary school, which has a duration of 8 years. For the first 4 years of their schooling, children do not receive any formal grade and mostly have no homework. Intensity increases in the last four years of primary education, with the introduction of new subjects, such as one or more foreign languages, homework, and grades. Grades in Switzerland go from 1 to 6, 6 being the best grade, and for the pass threshold. Primary school is followed by three years of compulsory secondary education, for age 12 to 15. As they enter secondary school, students are sorted into different groups, based on their performance at the end of primary school. In most cantons there are two divisions, a pre-baccalaureate division, and a general division. The pre-baccalaureate, has higher demands, and is reserved to students with high marks and that intend to later on attend college and university. The general division will usually lead to vocational schools and apprenticeships. Depending on the canton, the school year starts in August or September, and ends in June or July. School hours vary wildly from place to place, but usually classes start around 8 o'clock in the morning, and finish around 4 in the afternoon, with a long break for lunch. In a few cantons the younger kids do not attend school in the afternoon. In several cantons, all children have Wednesday afternoon off. Usually, schools do not have a canteen, and do not offer lunch. However, Especially in larger cities, most schools will have an independently organized lunch service, often provided by parent associations. For a small additional fee, these associations will also offer after-school activities. In rural areas, however, if both parents are working, they often have to resort to nannies to supervise young children over lunch and after school. Finally, many schools have a special program for children that just arrived in Switzerland and do not speak the local language. Often, arriving children join temporarily a special small class with focus on learning the language, and catching up on any skill they would need to integrate a normal class. Swiss schools tend to be culturally very diverse, and in most cases integration does not pose problems. This is all for now, feel free to share your comments below, and thank you for watching.